I've heard his question. The caller is asking about Surah Al Masad. He says Abilab. And according to the sectarians, yes, they have the yes. Abis which telling them that there's somebody called Abu Lahab or Abila, right? Mm -hmm. So they have a narrative aspect which is away from the Quran, telling them something which has nothing to do with the Quran in the first place. So when we say surah, a chapter, mm -hmm. a chapter is a subdivision division work, usually numbered and titled. So mm -hmm. the name of the chapter is called Masad, which means a fiber, right? Now, when you read the chapter, God says, Tabbat yada abihi lahab wa tabba. Now, underline the word lahab. Lahab. Underline it. Mm -hmm. Now, check the word abi. You hear the sectarian say abu. There's a difference. Even though this scholar did well, he said abi. Now, let's use the abi. We are going to check something. Remember, the Quran is to serve as a clarification of all things by itself, not somebody else, not something else. Quran chapter 16, verse 89. Mm -hmm. So the Quran, the book, the book, the Quran is in the book. It is to serve as a clarification of all things. Mm -hmm. Right? So now we are going to see that clarification. Underline the word lahabi, watabba. So God says the handwork of Abi Lahab uh, has been destroyed and he will perish. Now we are going to find who is this Abi Lahab. Is it the you know, the entity they are claiming in their Hadith books, or is it an entity we can find in the Quran? Let's check. Verse 2. Ma agna anhu malu wa ma kasat. His wealth will neither avail him nor what he end. Right? Then verse 3. Sayasla naranza talahab. Now the word lahab has been repeated. In verse 1, there's the word lahabin. Huh? With kasrate. That yeah. same lahabin has been repeated in verse 3. Mm -hmm. Lahabin, in Arabic, this is a three-letter word. Now, this lahabin, it means flame, or you can say flames. That is the word lahab. That's what it means. So, yes, la. This yes, la means to be burnt. Mm -hmm. So, yes, la, naharan zat, la. He will be burnt in the fire, possessing what? Flames. Mm -hmm. So, this flame. Now, we will be coming to verse 1 to understand who it is. Then verse 4. So, and his wife, when we say Wamura, Amrat is woman, somebody's wife is Wamurat, Amrat. So, and his wife will be the carrier of the firewood, right? Then, verse 5. So, around her neck, or we can say in her neck, or around her neck, there is a rope of what? Fiber will be around the neck. So now the question arises, why will God dedicate a whole chapter to an entity and the entity is nowhere to be mentioned in the Quran? So let's check the word Abi. When we say Abi, it means the father. Or we can say in English, we can say the dawn. When we say you are a father of something, it means you are the head of all. When we say you are the father of the house, it means you are the head of the house, including your wife and everybody. Do you get the point? So yes. when we say the father, the moment we mention the word Abi Lahab, we translate it literally as the father of what? Flames. Mm -hmm. So the word Lahabin is flame. Now, who is the father of the flame? Who will be the boss of the flame on the day of judgment? Quran chapter 7, verse 11 to 18. It tells you Ibilis will be the one to lead the people to hell. Some people will say, ah, is it talking about Ibilis? We are going to check. Remember, Iblis has a Kabila. He the devil. He has a Kabila. And Kabila is called what? Clan. Clan mm -hmm. is only related by blood. Yeah. By marriage. Now, you, the, the gene, you as the human being, you have a family. The gene also has a family. They have descendants. According to Quran chapter 18, verse 50, the gene has descendants as well, just like Adam also has descendants. Now, remember, God is saying, beware of the devil because he is the worst enemy. He wants to lead you to hell. Now, the devil, according to this verse, he is the Abihilab God is defining to us. Somebody mm -hmm. will say, how did the devil, how was he able to attain? Ma'agna, anu, ma'alu, ma'akasab. How was he able to attain wealth? Quran chapter 17, verse 64. According to God, God is telling the devil, washarikuhum fil amwal. The devil can have money as well. He also have money. And the devil has women. He has horses. He has everything. Just like you are thinking, as a, because remember, the gene and the human beings were created to serve God. 
he know what is called pleasure he also procreates they also have descendants just like you human being having descendants so when you check the context of the verse the word abihilab here the father of flame throughout the context is only attributed to Iblis and his wife not to an entity outside the quran number one he uh, Iblis is the top notch of disbelievers for god to dedicate at an entire chapter to him instead of going to dedicate to an arabian who is not even near to the epitome of what pharaoh did no. and then you claim he is the one mentioned in this chapter no i beg your pardon that is not abu lahab according to the hadith books this is talking about iblis himself the punishment he will have on the day of judgment thank you